Nola Gent here, and in this episode, we're enjoying some lunch at Cafe 7 at beautiful Rock City Gardens. And I've got my friend Major with me here. Nola Gent here with Major doing a little toast at Rock City at the Cafe 7. Cheers. How's it going, Major? Are you enjoying yourself so far? Yes, it's great. Love it. Good times. Only getting started. His car broke down, so we're having more fun with that, too. <laughs> Welcome to Nolagent. Let the good times roll. I've got another video specifically on the Rock City Gardens, and that will be in the top right corner with the eye with a circle around it. You can click on to watch that when you finish this video if you would like. If it's not up there yet, it means I'm not done with that video yet, but it'll be up there as soon as I'm done. So you do have to pay to get inside of the Rock City Gardens to eat at Cafe 7. And there are other places to eat inside of Rock City as well. There's Big Rock Grill, which is a short order style restaurant offering hamburgers, sandwiches, soups and salads, chicken fingers, and other items. Then there's the Cliff Terrace, which offers pizza, funnel cakes, and other snacks. And the Fudge Kitchen, which is near the main entrance, so that's another fantastic place. Here's the host station to get seated for Cafe 7, and Cafe 7 is the only full-service dining option available in Rock City. And as you look around, you get a wonderful view here. All of these uh, chairs with the green umbrellas there are all part of the Cafe 7 seating area where you can get wait service. What a fantastic view you get from Cafe 7 dining though. And then right behind us here, when we look to the right of this hostess station, this is the Cliff Terrace dining option. And then as we continue to pan around, you can see that we are in a prime area here. Just a lot of beautiful space, a lot of wonderful things to see right here. So Cafe 7, local fresh seasonal southern food with a modern twist. And then we have our dining hours are 11 to 4 p.m. Craft beers, mimosas, wine, sangria, mojitos, and mudslides. And now we'll just walk around a little bit and tour the rest of the seating areas available for Cafe 7. So this is the upper terrace area right in here. To the right is where you go to pay your bill and where their bar area is. And you can see this is a really pretty lovely area. As we are right here on top of Lookout Mountain and from this point we can see out and see seven states. Right behind us, that's a private residence still. Uh, could be wrong, but I think that might be the house that the creators of Rock City actually lived in while they were creating this area. There are seven flag poles for each state that you can see from Lookout Mountain here. So each state's flag is represented that you can see from this spot right here. And I am sitting right here to eat my lunch right next to this beautiful area. So it is hard to beat the view of what you get here at Cafe 7. Well, let's check out the menu now and decide what we want to eat today. Eat these first nibbles. Blackened catfish cakes, fried green tomatoes, fried chicken wings, the green stuff, Cafe 7, pub salad, between the bread, Nolans, blackened catfish po' boy. No, 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 no. People in New Orleans do not say New Orleans, we say New Orleans. Barbecue sandwich, jeans chicken salad, Sweet Home Alabama, which is a fried chicken thigh sandwich. Then vittles, shrimp and grits, barbecue plate, and low country shrimp oil. Four sides, they have sweet potato fries, house salad, mac and cheese, house made chips, brush cut fries, coleslaw, and cheese grits. On the other side of the menu, they have the beverages, and then they also have a selection of draft beers, bottled beers, and other alcoholic drinks available. I went with a Sweet Home Alabama chicken sandwich for my lunch entree. Oh, Rock City Dining. Oh, 
Thank you. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. So when you find yourself enjoying this video, why don't you just go ahead and smash and poke that subscribe button right now and give us a thumbs up too if you would like to and feel good about it, won't you? A little coleslaw. <laughs> well, I completely clean my plate and make any comments below if you like to clean your plate as well. So it had been a beautiful day, but then we got a little bit of a summer shower that started falling down on us. But that in no way detracted from this amazingly beautiful view. And seven states lie before you right here. What a fantastic restaurant view. And this looks like a cool fire pit for when the weather gets a little cooler. This reminds me a lot of an Alpine beer garden view, but I don't know anywhere else in the world where you can say you can overlook seven different states as you enjoy a beer in such a beautiful environment. Well, we had finished our meal and finished off our beer, so it was time to pay the bill. We go up to the bar to do that. I don't know if that's just for COVID-19 times or if this is something you do all the time here, but now you can see the selection of beers that they offer here on draft. There's a famous Rock City Birdhouse right there as we're now exiting the park, going to the main entrance exit area where they have all the gift shops and several other shops. So we've got the leather craft work area with all manner of very nice handcrafted leather gear. And here's the wine tasting area. Unfortunately, nobody's there to give us any taste of wines, I guess due to COVID-19. And let's go into the main gift store now. And they have an assortment of all manner of Rock City items that you might find are appealing for your tourist dollars. They have some pretty nifty things in here though. Uh, definitely, this is a very uh, unique gift shop in many ways because Rock City is a very unique place. And everybody needs a Rock City t-shirt. I mean, where else are you gonna get that? So they have quite a selection of almost anything you can think of in a Rock City, such as hats and more shirts. And there's the major trying on a hat. Probably says Rock City on the hat somewhere. And uh, as we walk through, there are all manner of interesting gifts. And then we'll go out to the other side here and see even more items. But there's where you get your birdhouse. Everybody needs one of those. And as we go out into the next area, I meet an old friend, my old friend the gnome that's been here my whole life growing up. I'm glad he's still there. And then as we walk into his store over here, which is right next to the lot of people getting out of here, this is Woodland Wonders Shop where you can find all manner of thing of gnome creations. So as we look in, it's a gnome wonderland, so you can get all manner of things crafted into the shape of a gnome. And of course a t-shirt and all sorts of actual gnome figurines, which everybody needs one of those in their yard because uh, who doesn't want a gnome in their yard? That's the uh, way to do things, correct? Uh, who doesn't have a collection of gnomes? After visiting Rock City Gardens, you might need to start your collection of gnomes. As I hear, they're very wonderful things to have. And then it's time to go to the Fudge Kitchen, a very delicious place to eat more. Let's head on inside. Hello, how are you? All good? 
So the chocolate and candy selection here looks quite adequate. And this is the selection that I had on my last visit back in summer of 2019. So that looks comparable. And then the fudge cabinet looks quite full, but I'm seeing one thing that's missing. My favorite thing here is not here due to COVID-19. Ah, oh, here is the picture of my last visit in summer of 2019. And my garden path fudge is not here. I love this decorated fudge. It's so fantastic. And then they have an amazing selection of all sorts of other candies here. They have things I haven't seen anywhere else in decades. There's so many great things. All these old candies that I haven't seen since childhood. Places just don't seem to sell so many of these items like they used to. It's gotten harder and harder to find so many of these wonderful old school candies. And as we keep looking around, there is where they make the candy and fudge right there in the background. And here we have another selection of candies. It's Pop Rocks. I haven't seen Pop Rocks very often over the years. And then they have all sorts of other delicious candies here. You just don't see things like this in most places anymore. It's so hard to find so many of these things. So a great candy selection here in the fudge shop. Okay, I'm gonna get a double chocolate truffle and also a raspberry truffle and let's see some dark pecan alligator and then a chocolate pecan slice of fudge and if you want to pay a little more they will actually put your candy treats inside of a sea rock city box that looks like they're bird houses okay let's try out the dark pecan alligator Little Rock City Fudge Kitchen time. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Wow. So I actually got two double chocolate truffles and a raspberry truffle, but I really didn't eat them earlier. Here I go actually eating the raspberry truffle. So before, uh, I just used a little sleight of hand and sleight of mouth to pull a little prank on y'all. If uh, I fooled you, comment below. Here goes the first of the double chocolate truffles. And down it goes. And then here goes the second double chocolate truffle. And now we're going to go for the chocolate pecan fudge later, much later, because I was quite full by this point. So back in the hotel room, I'm gonna dig into some chocolate fudge. Ho ho ho! A little Rock City chocolate pecan fudge! Ho ho ho! Oh, oh, mm, mm, mm. If you love dessert, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. So my overall impression of Cafe 7 was that it was an enjoyable experience. Chicken sandwich was good. Uh, the meal was a little overpriced, but you can't really match the venue and the view. So you do pay a premium for that. So even though the menu is kind of small and you don't get a lot of selection, it is ultimately worth it just for the view alone. We also had a fantastic server that also gave us a lot of great recommendations of other things to do in Chattanooga. So overall, it was just a fantastic experience. Rock City's Fudge Kitchen is always one of my favorite places to visit. All of the items here, the fudge, the candies, everything's great. The chocolate bonbons are fantastic. I'm a little upset that my preferred fudge was not here, but at least they were still open and I was able to come here in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. So that's all great. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.